Scientists worry that we're replacing or losing many indigenous varieties of plants. In this week's Keeping It Green segment, Ian Wallace looks at how to bank seeds in the event of a climate catastrophe. Imagine not finding scorpion peppers for your favorite pepper sauce, or no yellow breadfruit to roast or put in the oil down. The variety of local fruits and vegetables is under threat. Extremes of heat and rainfall, pollution and urbanization threaten our local fruit trees, vegetables and plants. In response to climate change, crop scientists develop pest-resistant plants that improve on naturally existing varieties, but at a price. By using imported seeds, we're replacing or losing many indigenous varieties, says Wendy Ann Isaac. Because it's not only about crops, it's also about um, forests, all right? the forest trees and all those things. They are all part of the, the, the diversity that we are losing at a significant and alarming rate on an annual basis. Over the last two decades, 75% of the genetic diversity of agricultural crops has been lost, says the United Nations. To protect our plant varieties from harm or destruction, the University of the West Indies has set up a seed bank for local and regional germplasm. Acting more like a library, backyard gardeners borrow seeds to reintroduce indigenous plants and underused crops, then return harvested seeds to the seed bank. A plant is only as good as its seed, however. Harvested seeds contain the seed coverings and other debris, including seeds that are not viable. Separating this chaff using a seed blower reveals seeds able to germinate, explains Earl Medford. So many of the unwanted debris as well as non-viable seeds collected in these collection chambers here. And after we just have to, we lift it off, separate it, and we remain with mostly clean seeds. Of the 300,000 edible plants, only 150 to 200 are actually used by humans and we rely on just three. So this not only limits our diets, but makes these select crops more vulnerable. So collecting local and regional seeds ensures diversity and our survival. I'm Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TDT News.